If you've ever wanted the heads up display that you often see in tech videos or games on Linux, then this is the video for you. Hi everyone, my name is Robert Meisen and I make videos on beep beep stuff. So this video is going to be aimed at mostly two types of people. Either you already know what the software is called uh, and you are having some difficult time configuring it because it's not that uh, user friendly to configure or you have no idea what the software is called and you're just looking for some game FPS overlays for when you're gaming on Linux. Either way, this video will help both of you out. For your information, the actual name of the software is called Mango HUD. That is what you're actually seeing when you're watching some streams and uh, game videos and tech videos on YouTube. Very, very common in benchmarking and stuff like that. Mango HUD is a really, really great piece of software, but configuring it isn't exactly user friendly. I do love it, but the user interface, uh, the way that you configure the user interface is done through config files. It's not exactly easy for a lot of people. So another program was made called Govelay. Now Govelay uses the open source uh, and the open access APIs that's written into Mango HUD to actually be able to configure this via a nice UI and it has loads of options. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to install Govelay, which will install Mango HUD along with it. This video is gonna be aimed at installing on Linux. Uh, this is not really gonna be uh, applicable for Windows or Mac. Uh, regarding Linux, I'm gonna be doing this on Manjaro. Um, I have also installed this on Endeavor OS as well, both Arch type uh, based distributions. However, these instructions will basically be applicable to all Linux installations, barring a couple of command changes, but basically the same uh, information regarding the installation is the same. So when you install this, when you install Govelay, it will pull all the dependencies. So nine times out of 10, running this one command should basically do it for all of you. Um, but I will leave some uh, help uh, articles and links in the description below. Just as a quick reminder, if you do like the video, do press the like button because that does really help me a lot. And if you do like the content from me, do press subscribe because then uh, you can see more content from me in the future. And as always, please do remember to uh, comment down below if you do need any help with this. So once you're at your computer, you're going to want to open up a console window. You can do this also through PAMAC, but we're going to do this through the console window for now. You're going to want to type in PAMAC install govelay bin. So you're going to run this command and it's going to want to install dependencies to go with this and that includes mango hud as well as a few extra things that govelay does so once you've installed that you can run the command to launch govelay now here you can see govelay and you can actually see it running here now just before you get started one thing you might notice at the bottom uh, is that it says missing mango hud and uh, replay sorcery now this is dependencies for govelay to run now obviously as you can see mango hud is running uh, but it is saying that mango hud is not there uh, now this actually is fairly recent that i've noticed inside manjaro i have this running on endeavor os and it's not doing this so basically either it's to do with how the application on this specific computer is discovering each other whether it's not doing it correctly or not or whether it's to do with manjaro it can be a little bit sometimes funky the way that it does stuff even though that endeavor os and manjaro are both arch based manjaro can be a little different sometimes but if you get this uh, but it is showing here then just ignore the message at the bottom because it is working Govelay is really, really simple. There are three tabs, Mango Hard, VK Basalt, and Replay Sorcery. If you're only here for Mango Hard, then this is the only thing you care about. Uh, I'm not gonna go into VK Basalt or Replay Sorcery. That's beyond the scope of this video. Uh, but this is the settings for Mango HUD. Now, in the past, you would have done this through a config file, but you can do this through the UI, and it's really great. I'm gonna take you through some really basic settings so you can understand uh, what the settings do. At the top, you just have orientation, pretty straightforward. You've got some base color themes. You can, of course, customize this, how you want the um, transparency and the position on the screen to be. Uh, you can change a title if you want to add a title or not. If you go to the performance tab, you can set limiters here if you need to. If you've got multiple graphics devices, you can change which one it should report there. 
Um, if you want to do any logging uh, and uploads of your um, sessions and stuff like that, you can also put the settings in here. But where most of you are interested is in metrics and extras. So we've got the GPU settings here. I have the average load set uh, so I can see how much of the GPU is being used temperature so you can see the temperature and how much power it's drawing because that's a really good indicator of how much the system is actually using the graphics this is quite a nice little setting called load color what this will do is this will go from white to red based on how much of uh, this gpu is being used so when it's low it will be white but as it goes higher it will get more and more red and that's a much easier way to see whether something's being used or not uh, i've got the cpu set more or less the same except i've got the frequency listed as well as how much ram it's using that's kind of pretty helpful to see another uh, tab you'll be interested in is extras so fps it's uh, obviously on by default you can turn this on and off if you want to and there's a bunch of other stuff in there to do with resolutions frame counts if you're on a laptop you can set the battery here um, you've got some default uh, ones that they've set uh, minimal will just show basically just the minimal one you've got a compact version here whichever one you feel is uh, is best for you whichever one you like the most and you've got your shortcut there now the shortcut uh, will actually work inside of this uh, um, kind of viewer that you see on the right hand side so if i press shift and f12 it will turn on and off that so right now i've got this one unticked um, so if you don't see anything here this might be ticked so you'll want to either press the shortcut or you want to untick that and then when i'm inside a game i will press shift and f12 and i will turn on the uh, the overlay when i want to uh, now in the past uh, at least in my experience mango hud you have to set it up so that it goes into which applications you want it to do so if you're running through steam you have to tell steam to load mango hud so that it will actually show up um, but inside of Govlay, uh, there is a global enable. And what this basically just means is so long as that you're running something that wants it, you just press Shift and F12, in my case, with a shortcut, and it will show up. Um, so I haven't had any problems with that specifically. Once you're done with all your stuff, hit save. It's going to restart. Um, you might see a restart option at the top right hand corner saying that uh, Mango HUD has uh, saved its config. Um, and once you've done that, you can just launch uh, a game and it will show up. Now, if you are using another version of Linux and you're not sure what the command is, if you come over to GitHub and you go into Govalay, you can uh, just search for this in start page or whichever search engine you use. Uh, once you come down, you can actually see um, the prerequisites. So these need to be installed, but when you install Govalay, it will pull these uh, dependencies anyway. And if you go further down, you'll find here um, the commands for different distributions. So Govalay bin is what I used uh, in the console. Um, you've got the stuff for Fedora and various other distributions here. Uh, and just so you can see, if you go to uh, Pac-Man here and you've got the uh, GUI installation, you can search for Govalay also inside here and it will show you those there. So you can do it this way as well if you want to. Um, but if you want to do it for the console, then you obviously just search uh, for it via Yay or whichever package manager that you're using inside there. So that's pretty much how you do it.